What is up guys, this is Benji here bringing you another revolutionary video and this video is for the people that use USB webcams, microphones, and video capture devices cause let me tell you, we want to take back the synchronization of our devices. And in order to do that, there is way more than one simple fix. There are multiple things that we have to pay attention to. So let's freaking go. Let's fudge and get it. First thing you want to do, hey, check your drivers. You know, I have a bad habit of not checking my drivers and 50% of the time, that's where the problem is. Because if you don't update your driver as well, that creates desynchronization issues. So to quickly do that, you can go to the bottom left-hand corner of your search bar, type in device manager, and then you, uh, when it pulls it up, click on it. And the reason why device manager is so useful is because it does the heavy lifting for you. It finds the drivers that you need and then it'll update them for you. So go to display adapters, click the arrow here, and then you're going to select the devices that are given to you or that are highlighted. And so you right click your device, click update manager and you're done um your computer would do the rest and so then you go down to sound video and game controllers click the down arrow and update the drivers of every single device that is found there and then you're practically done with that the next thing you want to do is make sure your microphone audio the video of your webcam and the gameplay is all synchronized together and in order to do that you have to make some corrections to your sync offset and video delay async so why don't i show you how to do that real quick so let's start with the microphone you want to go to your audio mixer so find your microphone click the gear and just so you guys know i am using obs studios so i click the gear go to advanced audio properties look for my microphone and here's sync offset and the reason why this is vital is because sync offset slows down and speeds up the playback of your audio so that it can properly synchronize with your video footage and so once you find the proper number um, then you're going to do the same thing for your video now just know that your your numbers is going to be different from mine because we're both more than likely using different equipment so don't just go by the numbers that I have yours could be different depending on the type of computer you have and the setup so after you take care of your microphone now you want to go over the sources look for your webcam right click go to filters then go to the audio video filters right click inside the box go to add and then select video delay and this helps slow down or speed up the playback of your <clears throat> of the video of your webcam that way it can synchronize with the audio of your microphone so if you want a detailed explanation on how to do this i'm going to have a video linked in the description section below so make sure to click on that link check out my video because it gives you a detailed explanation on how to do this step and then once you're done with that come back here and check out the rest of the things that you want to look into so that you can fix your desynchronization issue now this next thing that you're going to have to check this is something that you may have to do every time you start a new live stream or create a new video this is something that you have to do before you start the live stream and before you create your video and so what you want to do is you want to click on your webcam right click go to properties click on configure video and i'm going to explain all of this here make sure all of your audio features are unchecked you see the word idle 
these are going to be features that will automatically be adjusted as you're doing a live stream as you're doing a video make sure everything is unchecked in video pro uh, i guess that's video production amp and then you want to make sure everything under camera control all the auto features are unchecked now i use a razor kyo so my settings could be different so i'm just letting you know that and then you definitely want to make sure that the low light compensation is unchecked because for my razor kyo every time um i start a new live stream every time i create a new video low light compensation is always going to be checked by default so i have to make sure to uncheck that in order to get rid of any lag and ensure that there isn't any desynchronization because look at it this way when you're doing a video or doing a live stream and your webcam is constantly self-correcting itself eventually your live stream recording software your video recording software is not going to be able to keep up with all of those change um all of those changes and so what's going to happen is everything is just going to desynchronize in the middle of a video and live stream and you definitely don't want that so that's why it's very important to check these things before you um before you go live or start a video and just a side note what i usually do is um, i would make sure when i start my live stream that i would just check to make sure it's all off now there's two more things that you need to look into i would highly recommend using obs studios for your live streams and the reason why i say that is because obs studios takes up less resources for your pc I know that Streamlabs OBS is user friendly, but the problem with Streamlabs OBS is it takes up far more resources than OBS Studios and that in itself could create problems for you, especially if you're using a PC that's on the lower end or your PC is not um, fully optimized. So I would recommend OBS Studios. The moment that I started using OBS Studios, a lot of my problems I was able to see and I was able to correct. Now, one more thing. Now, this may not apply to you, but if it does, I highly recommend that you do this. Um, if your PC has multiple USB hubs, take advantage of that and what i mean by multiple usb hubs check to see if your pc has usb times three usb times two because you can use that to help reduce the probability of desynchronization by plugging all of your usb devices into different usb hubs because if you're plugging everything into the same usb hub they're literally stealing more resources from each other and that in itself can create desynchronization issues and so i'm going to give you an example i'm just going to explain using what i have my pc has usb 3 usb times 3 or usb 3 and usb 2 or it's also called usb times 2 and so what i did was i took my game capture device my elgato which is a usb by the way i plugged that into my usb 3 and then i take my webcam and my microphone and plug it into my usb 2 and by doing that all of my devices are not competing for data and so that prevents the probability of everything just getting out of sync so that's another tip that you should look into now if you do not have a usb x3 or usb x2 don't be discouraged i would just recommend doing everything else and see if that solves your problem because for the most part i feel like doing all the other steps should fix everything i just feel like the whole usb x3 usb x2 solution is just something that can make the process that much more easier 
so i would just highly recommend doing it if you can i feel like everything else should do more than enough to help solve your problem so if you found this video extremely informative and helpful make sure to leave a like leave a comment hit that subscription button for more content and hey if you would like to check me out live i am on twitch link to my twitch is in the description section below and so i look forward to seeing you where i see you happy hunting and have an awesome day and be safe peace and god bless and thank you for watching this video